Hi, and welcome. Dr. Lisa here, osteoporosis physical therapist, and welcome to episode 13 of Brick House Bones, where each week you get new evidence-based exercises on strength, balance, posture, and power or impact that help us protect our bones and make us fracture proof. If you've been following along, I would love to know if you leave me a comment down below about what's important to you and what kind of support you are looking for in your bone health journey. And if you're new here, I thank you for coming and I would be most honored if you would consider subscribing so that you can receive this free information and education on a regular basis. All right, welcome everybody. Let's get to work here. I have four exercises you will need a loop band and a strap band if you have. If you only have this version, that's okay. But if you have both, you will need both. We will start at the wall. We are doing a standing version of a bird dog. So we'll be standing at the wall with that nice tall posture, belly button coming, pulling in towards the spine, tail tucked down just slightly, arms fully extended at shoulder height, and we're going to do an opposite arm and leg raise. So my right heel is staying long leg, but lifting away from the wall, and my left arm is reaching up and away from the wall, and then back down. Now, they don't have to go far. We are working this diagonal pattern across the back body to improve our postural strength muscles. I would do 10 total repetitions, that's five per side, and this is an exercise that you could do every day this week. Be sure to keep tight through the tummy as you alternate back and forth, and don't try to do a big arch in the low back. Think about length as much as anything. All right, now exercise number two is our balance, and we're still working limits of stability. If you watched last week's episode, we did forward limits of stability. Today we're doing lateral limits of stability because we want to support our balance system in all positions. So my feet are together. I'm a distance away from the wall. I want to see if I can touch the wall without losing my balance. No problem. Move away from the wall a little further. That's a little more challenging. Okay, so that's a good distance for me. Holding tight here. Tap and come back. I can feel my weight shifting onto this outer part of my right foot, trying to control my balance. I can feel my core and my hips engaging, trying to control my balance. Now, what I don't want to see is a fall onto the wall. That means you're a little bit too far away. Or if you have to step, a corrective step might mean you might need to get a tad bit closer. So try to do 10 taps to the wall, challenging your balance one side and then turn around and do the same thing on the other side. So there's your balance exercise this week. 10 on each side. Balance exercises can be done every day. And the next two are strength and power exercises. Those are two or three times a week trying to get a rest day in between. And our strength exercise is going to be a clam. So for this I'm going to use the loop band and the loop is going to go above my knees, around the thighs. Now, if you don't have a loop band, but you do have a strap band, then you can thread the strap band around, and then you'll hold on to the straps as you do the clam. So in this position, Feet flat, arms flat, head relaxed. I'm going to allow both knees to push away from each other and then come back together. Knees are pushing out, come back together. Slow and controlled. And you want enough tension on that band that you are feeling the work on the hip muscles. These muscles attach to the top of the femur around the hip joint. And so when we're working these hip muscles, we're creating tension forces around the top of the hip bone. And that is stimulus we want to help improve hip bone strength. 
Hip muscles are also really valuable in our balance reactions. So I would do 10 clams with both knees pushing away, and then we're going to do single leg. So right leg will move, left leg will stay absolutely still. They're both working, but just in a slightly different way. So I would do 10 of the right leg only moving, and then 10 of the left leg only moving. And I would move on to the next exercise. The power bridge is what we're going to do next, and then come back and do two or three rounds of the clam and the power bridge. So removing this band and grabbing your strap band, I'm going to put this around my hips. Now, if you haven't done a bridge before, you don't have to use the resistance. We can go without it. So palms down, we're going to just warm up the bridge here a little bit by pressing through the heels, lifting the hips up, just loosening that up a little bit. And then a power bridge is up, slow down. Quick up, slow on the way down. So up one second, down for three or four seconds. Up and down. And we're trying to create that quickness in the muscle, that speed and quickness in our reaction and muscle contraction because we lose that as we get older. Okay, so I have the band now in my hands, pressing it down around my hips so I have a little more resistance. I'm going to have to work a little bit harder. Up, down, slowly. So this just gives us more bang for our buck, more resistance, making the muscles work a little bit harder, gaining more strength in the process. I would do 10 repetitions. You could even work up to 15 or 20, and you wanna do two or three sets, as long as you have a rest in between. All right, great job, everybody. That's your four for episode 13 of Brick House Bones. I would love to know what you think of this one. Thank you.